I'm gonna show you how I got here with this iPad Pro that I just got. But first, my inspiration for the art. Scene again, Milhouse. We already did it. It took seven hours, but we did it. It's done. Now get some reference photos. And then time to get started. Now it took me some time to get to learn this program on iPad Pro, but I finally got the main idea that you work from the backdrop forward and that you could do different layers and remove the layers as you go on. So it's some trial and error, but you see a lot of the process here. This is the explosion scene where you're gonna see Fall Out Boy and Radioactive Man flying forward because of the force of that explosion. I wanted this to be a nice action scene like what you would see in the movies, especially if you were inside of The Simpsons, if you were inside of their cartoon. And I wanted you to feel like this was a real movie that was real action packed. So you see I had removed that background layer so I could sketch Radioactive Man here. You know, after the initial rough sketch, I started applying more pressure on the pencil so that it would darken the lines and solidify them more until the next step where you see me use something similar to a marker to do more of the outline. And now I'm coloring him in with some basic colors first just to see where I want to go with, with these colors and just to get everything, every part of Radioactive Man colored in. And then I'm going to start to add the shade and the shadow and the highlights to make him stand out more. Now, along with me wanting to have a movie within the show feel, I also wanted to have like a comic book feel because Radioactive Man was initially a comic book character and this was comic to movie within the Simpsons show with McBain playing him and I also wanted this particular piece to be McBain and Milhouse. I didn't want it to be the characters that they had in the comic book. I wanted it to be kind of the joke characters because McBain's pretty funny and then Milhouse just didn't want to do this. So I wanted that kind of fusion where you get Milhouse and McBain as the actors, but this comic book kind of thing while it's a real movie within the show. Now the same process with Milhouse, AKA Fallout Boy. Now I have been wanting to do this piece for a long time because when I was a kid, just 10 years old, I was drawing Radioactive Man comic books. And so I wanted to bring this to life with the talent that I have now as an adult. Let me know in the comment section below who you like to draw currently or who you liked to draw when you were a kid because I'm curious what TV shows or cartoon characters were your inspirations for some of the art you do or want to do. So a lot of this flickering going on is me toggling between the, the backdrop and no backdrop just so I could see where everything is and how the characters flow with the backdrop. And that's the beauty of this program on the iPad that allows me to see things without the backdrop and with the backdrop as opposed to if I was doing a painting and I wouldn't be able to remove the backdrop to see how the main characters flow with the entire project. So now that I'm finished, I made a print and I'm framing it right now and going to hang it up. If you're interested in a print, visit my Etsy shop in the description below and make sure to subscribe to the channel and check out my other Simpsons painting with the link on the top left. I'll see you there.